Imagine the power of prayer erasing a $146,000 debt. One man says it's possible. A Southern California televangelist who's on the airwaves nearly every day claiming to erase debt and change lives supernaturally. But as consumer specialist Rick Romero found out, former followers and skeptics say the self-proclaimed reverend's claims are bogus. I'm telling you that God teaches in his word that he wants to cancel, erase, wipe out, obliterate your debt. Peter Popoff has been preaching about God and money for decades. He shows that he pays BET and other cable and TV channels to appear on our non-stop crusade. Not 90,000, not hundreds! Oh, how many of you know that just burns the devil off? About spirituality. By and through the power of the anointing of the Holy Spirit, I decree that it's done in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. But most of all, about helping people erase mountains of debt. Ten thousand dollar All miracle. my bills is paid and I got money to spare. All my bills is paid and I got money to spare. Give the Lord a clap offering for that. Woo! Popoff claims he's delivered miracles to hundreds of thousands of people supernaturally. So Popoff sends his followers mail, as you can see here, tons of mail, including uh, small vials of miracle spring water and debt cancellation kits. He then asks his viewers to send small donations, and in return, he promises, as a messenger of God, to unlock the secrets of financial security and wipe out all debt. You told me that big bill, God was going to pay it in full. And God did just that I don't owe a damn. Supernatural debt cancellation or debt cancellation, that's just hogwash. Ole Anthony is president of the Trinity Foundation, a Dallas, Texas-based watchdog group that investigates religious fraud. There's no spiritual justification, no biblical justification for any of the things they do. Let the pain be driven from her body supernaturally. The Trinity Foundation has been monitoring Popoff's ministry for years. Volunteers watch hours of his TV shows. And they sift through massive amounts of mailings that Popoff sends to his followers, soliciting donations while promising miracles. And here's Peter Popoff for 20. Janet Morgano of Boynton Beach, Florida, described herself as a desperate former follower of Popoff. A single mother of two, Morgano had been injured in a car accident, living paycheck to paycheck and struggling to make ends meet. She began sending Popoff money, hoping it would help turn her life around. In the beginning, it was $20, $28, $30, um, but three or four months ago, he asked for $1,001. After sending Popoff about three to four hundred dollars, Morgano, who describes herself as a religious giving person, eventually felt scammed by his ministry. I felt foolish. I felt betrayed. Um, I was very upset. And Popoff's ministry, which is based out of these offices in the city of Upland, has been under fire for years. In 1986, well-known magician and skeptic James Randi made an appearance on The Tonight Show telling Johnny Carson Peter Popoff was a fraud who during revival meetings revealed personal information about his followers that he claimed was conveyed by God. Instead, it was fed to him by his wife by way of a hidden radio transmitter. She has arthritis all over. Burning this arthritis right out of your body. Take a few steps just to make the devil mad. Hallelujah. Popoff later admitted he used the wireless device. A year later, he filed for bankruptcy. These days, James Randi makes appearances like this one at the Magic Castle in Hollywood, talking to audiences about Popoff. He's wearing a hearing aid in his left ear. Now, this is a guy that was supposed to be healing the deaf. <laughs> And Randy says Popoff is still preying on people who are the most desperate. So people don't learn. They don't listen. They, they're very, very prejudiced in favor of believing anything that comes their way that sounds reasonable to them. According to the most recent IRS documents released by Charity Navigator, in 2005, Popoff's ministry took in more than $23 million. Popoff's compensation, 628000 his wife and children also received several hundred thousand dollars.
We contacted Peter Popoff for his response to our story. His wife, Elizabeth, told Eyewitness News that she and her husband have been preaching for some 40 years and stand by what they do. When we asked Peter Popoff to answer critics who say he takes advantage of desperate people, he issued this written response. As for religious leaders calling me a fraud, that places me in good company. The religious leaders of Christ's day called him a fake and a demon-possessed fraud. They went so far as to crucify him. I have no time for my critics. I have a job to do, and I'm doing it for God's glory. God's power is limitless. If there's no money, God can create money. Last month, Trinity Foundation investigations prompted U.S. Senator Chuck Grassley of Iowa to issue a report blasting many churches and religious organizations like pop-offs for being invisible to the IRS and for operating without government oversight. Now, Grassley says no state requires religious organizations to register and file financial reports. However, Trinity says their findings have led authorities to prosecute several televangelists and their ministries primarily for tax evasion and tax fraud. Now, we contacted several federal and state agencies, and they would neither confirm nor deny if there is an ongoing investigation into Peter Popoff's ministry. We'll stay on top of this story and bring you any developments. This is Rick Romero, ABC7 Eyewitness News.